Hello friend, in previous video, I have shown you how to create card function to add, read, update and delete the reports in Google Sheet using Google Apps. But in that video, I have not shown you how to create a form so that we can easily update, delete, create and read the data. So in this video, I am going to create this form. So for that, We'll first create a new sheet in the existing Google spreadsheet. So if you have not shown the previous video, please go to that previous video and watch the full video so that you can understand the code that I have written over here. So now we will create a new sheet called form and here we will create the form that is ID for search and this will be the id this should be the name and this should be the age so we color it okay we color this we'll not show the grid now there is the input Now let's create the button. So to print the button, we'll go to insert, then drawing. So here we'll create the button. And here we'll write search. We'll place this search button over here. Now we'll create more button. Clear. Time. Add and update and then delete. So now we'll create a function for each of these buttons. So now let's create a function for this search. So our Aim is to, if we will type the ID over here and if we click on the search button, it, the record will be displayed over here. So to create a search function, we we'll go to the app script and here we can see this function, page by ID. So we we'll call this function. So now let's create a function that will call that function, make function be function search okay so now we have to fetch this cell c2 so the cell is in form seed so for that what we will do is that we will change the existing code over here so in the get seed function we will pass parameter called seed name so this seed name will be replace this data and now what we will do is that we will call this get seed function or it so we will create a variable for seed then we will call this function so here we will pass the seed name form and then we have to get the value for seed to set. So for that, what we will do, we will create another variable id and then what we will do, we will get the value for this cell by writing ship dot get range. So what will be the range over here? Range will be this c2. So c2 and then so we will get the value not the formulas or not the for, for that we again type dot and then get value okay so let's see whether it's work or not logger dot log i save this function and if you will run this function search c1 and now we'll pass this id to this function 
HID. So here we we'll will write, we we'll create another variable for data, and then we will pass that ID. Fetch by ID, we fetch the data from this sheet, data sheet. Since we have changed this function get sheet, we have to change the other function also right here get sheet. So here we will pass the sheet name. So here also we we'll pass the sheet name and here also we we'll pass the sheet. So it will fetch the data by ID and then we will show the data over here C4, uh, C5, C7 and C9. So let's show that data over there. So again we will write sheet dot bit range. And now the bit range will be this C5. So here will be C5. And now we will set the value. So for that, we'll write set value. And the value will be this data zero. We'll copy this. And the next cell will be C7. C7 value will be one. And here it's C9, C9. And there, there will be two. So let's try. Now let's assign this search function to this search button. For that, we will click on this button and then we will click on this three dot. And here we assign this. So now let's try two and so here it says that C dot get range A is not constant. So let is that get oh yeah. Get the thing again like this. Get range. Same. I'll try. See? The data is space successfully. So if you type the ID which are which is not exist in this data set, then what will happen? See? It gives an error. Now let's fix that data. So here the data is not fetched successfully over here. Here we will write if condition. This if not data. That is if data is not available. If data is not available, then we will show then we will show the message that no data is available. So for that we write a special app and that we call get GUI. So this function is responsible to get the UI element of the spreadsheet app. And then we will write alert. Here we will say that the code is not found and we will return. Okay. So now let's, let's try. See, the code is not found. Now let's write this clear function. Function clear. So here we will access the sheet by writing this line and now we will create and now what we will do we will clear the cell and now to clear the cell we will write sheet dot get range and the range will be c2 then you can call the function clear Thing. So let's assign this clear function to this clear button. Now let's try. Okay, first time is clear. So we copy this line and we to place, we change this cell and now cell. Let's try it's work first step. Now let's add and now let's create an add function. Function add. So add function is already created over here. See? So what we will do? So for that first we paste the record 
or this cell in the home and then we will append the data to this data sheet for that we first access value from this cell of the home ship so for that we we'll create variable font id and then we will get the cell values by writing cell dot get range and range will be or id or id this c5 c5 and then get of we get another mail and copy this that will be seven we will get another for age it will be nine and now we pass this value to this add record function for that we change this add record function we change the little bit for this add record function we we'll write out here is id name h and here we change this to id name and then h and here we will copy this add so now we show the message that add a uh, report has been successfully again has been successfully added we save and assign this add function to this add button now let's try three a will be put it to add get up that trust to the add let's see Let's enter another or see perfect working perfect. So let's now update the record. So in update the record, we first we'll first create the record and then we'll change the record over here and then when you click that update button it will update the data over here so let's fix let's write that function on sun update so again we have to write this line and then we have to access the value of this id of this I cell, I discharge cell, and then we will call this edit function. So we will change the little bit over here. We'll write update ID and we will add even over here. So that one and then update. And then this function called or the ID, the ID, and uh, we will copy this. It's not with them. So to give the update ID. Okay. On screen We will save the result in the result so yeah it's and here we will write if the update is successful we will write return to or if not then return pop ok so we are going check 
Check. We'll check whether the record has been updated or not. For that, we will write an EP statement. Report if not found or update. Oops. Record has been updated successfully as in update successfully so now let's assign this update function to this update button and now let's change this to changing and it will update click on update see it not define the let where the problem fix it okay a problem maybe in the oh good good allow less time okay the code has still happened from so let the id clear now let in with the id clear first we will get the record Okay, and now we change the age to 45. Now let's see. Now create the delete function. So for that, we will write function delete. So delete is in T1, so we will and then we'll write the same same line as you write in update these two line and then we will call the delete function that we have previously written so this is the delete so we will call this so before that we will return here to with the record has been written Hence, where we will write false and we will save the result in result variable like this. We'll copy this if statement test record is not found for delete. We'll change the text over here. Deleted. Okay, now assign this button del function. Okay. Now let's press the record for. Okay, record has been placed. And now if we click on this delete, say delete. The record has been deleted successfully. And now if we click so now let's give it to write 5 plus 6 and if we click on add the record will be added successfully over here see and if we click on the clear it should clear the record so i hope you like this video in the next video we will see how to create a web based form and that will be similar this type of form in web base so i hope you like this video so please like share and comment so that it can inspire me to create this type of video for you